This is our textiles banner uh, made for our recycle upcycle project with Rig Arts in the Bruni Art Flat um, with members of the local community and Geraldine who is a freelance artist with Rags to Riches. Um, the banner is called Bruni Past to Present and explores the local heritage um, within the area. Um, so I will explain what we've done and some of the processes that we've used to complete it. We start at the top with our purples and yellows, um, which we felt reference the heathers that you see way up uh, on the cut at the top of Brim Hill. Um, we've also got some maps which were copied um, of the area of Brim Hill, and we've done some decal image transfers to copy these from the original drawings we did onto fabric. Um, and then we've used a technique called couching, which is simply the act of taking a piece of rope or string and stitching it onto the fabric with some smaller threads. And over here we've got some bell shapes which reference the bell towers which sat on the Drumfrocker Road flats just over the road from the Broomy Art flat. Uh, they've now been demolished so we've been working very hard to commemorate this iconic shape within a lot of the work we've been doing up here in the art flat. Um, now this commemorates the sit-in uh, which happened in the 1980s in the Lee Jeans factory. Um, now many women from the Broomy, uh, we're told, would have worked in the Lee Jeans factory um, and on the first night uh, they didn't have any dinner so two of the women shimmied down the drain pipes and brought 240 fish suppers for the occupants um, at the protest. Over here we have some woolen patches uh, which were knitted by members um, of the art club up here um, and these commemorate the Merino uh, Mill which would have employed many many women from Broomhill and the wider area of Greenock. Um, over here we have some real fishing wire and some more decal image transfers of the Wrens who were women who worked on the shipyards in Greenock during um, the Second World War. Um, and in this image, although it's not very clear, but the women are laying the nets and making the nets which would have stretched across the Clyde to stop the German submarines from, from coming up into Glasgow. Um, over here in the centre we've got some hand-drawn images of the high flats in Broomhill, which our art flat is situated in. Um, and we've also got some references to uh, the shipyards once again with the cranes which sit down at the very bottom of Greenock. Um, and this is also referenced in our geometric patterns which can be seen throughout the textile banner. Okay, so down here we have the numbers 1865, uh, which is the number of women who worked down at the shipyards in Greenock during the Second World War. And throughout the textiles banner, we've also got references to the overalls worn by the Wrens and also the overalls worn by the women in the Lee Jeans factory um, through our different shades of blue. Mm -hmm.